Now let's talk about two other types of intermolecular forces that are considerably weaker when compared to dipole-dipole moments or, or dipole-dipole forces, that is, or hydrogen bonding. Now there's something called induced dipoles, induced dipoles, and this occurs um, in which a molecule with a permanent dipole can induce a temporary dipole in an otherwise nonpolar molecule. Now after the normally nonpolar molecule has a temporary induced dipole, it can be attracted to permanent dipoles. So if we consider this to be a, our permanently dipole, our permanent dipole, this can induce a temporary dipole. So this positive end will induce a temporary negative end here, and that will then in turn induce a positive end, temporary positive end on this side. This is because the electron density is going to be is going to slightly shift towards this side as this molecule comes into contact with the permanent dipole. And the attraction that results is called an induced dipole force. Now the now an even weaker type of intermolecular force can be found with what are known as van der Waals forces otherwise known as London dispersion forces. Now, in this example, um, we take nonpolar compounds. Now remember, in our example with induced dipoles, we already start off with one permanent dipole inducing a di inducing a temporary dipole in a nonpolar molecule. In van der Waals forces, we take two nonpolar molecules, and temporary dipoles will result due to random motions of electrons in one atom or molecule, which will then induce temporary dipoles in nearby atoms or molecules. Um, the, this, is, this type of attraction is known as van der Waals forces. So temporary dipoles will cause shifts in electron distributions in neighboring molecules, thus resulting in temporary, dipole, temporary dipoles, which results in very weak, but still non-negligible, um, forces of a force of attraction between molecules. Now these forces are the weakest of the intermolecular forces, which is why many nonpolar substances and the noble gases have such low melting and boiling points. Now this type of force is more important with larger molecules or atoms because larger the larger the molecule or atom, the more polarizable they will they will be because any, any differences in electron density can, be, can have the potential to be even greater with larger numbers. Now, van der Waals forces are important intermolecular forces, nonetheless, and even with polar molecules, they may comprise as much as 85% of the total intermolecular forces that are available.